All right there, guys. Uh, FTO, podcast, news, comics, all that other stuff. I'm doing podcasts again. I'm going to be doing a YouTube video again. I'm going to change up the format a little bit, I think, also. I'm going to put uh, probably like two stories this time, probably two stories, and do probably like a, what am I thinking, like a video game story. I still want to keep the art inside of it also. But yeah, I'm coming back. I know I took a long hiatus, about five, maybe six. I think it was five or four months I took off. I just had to get some things situated, get some some things uh, taken care of. Everything is a little bit better now, better than it was before. If you guys have been waiting for me, sorry about the wait. But uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to get back into it. I'm happy to start doing it again. I moved, so the whole living arrangement, it's going to be... You're going to see the setup. It's going to be completely different than it was before. So don't get used to the way it was because it's going to be completely different. I know I move it around like every five or six months on everybody. Just keep on changing it up over and over again. I'm not going to go as in depth as I usually do, do like, you know, I used to do like eight damn topics and it lasts forever, which I know you guys like, you love it, I know you do, because who doesn't like listening to stuff from other people talk about stuff and their opinions about that stuff, I don't know where I was going with that, I was going somewhere, but I lost my train of thought, (laughs) but yeah, it's, uh, it's Saturday, I think it's the 27th, September. I may talk about some kind of spoilers, but I doubt I will this time. But that will happen in the future. We are doing spoilers. And by we, I mean FTO and whomever else I can get to join FTO. Because <laughs> right now it's just me. I know I had people pop in in and out before. Right now it's just me doing it. But yeah, I'm going on and on. Let's, uh, let's go to the, the first topic. If anyone out there is watching Avengers Assemble, the uh, it's the Avengers cartoon show that took place, you know, after Earth Mightiest Heroes. We all love Earth Mightiest Heroes. Two seasons that lasted. It was amazing. It was a great, great TV show. I loved every episode of it. But they got something called Avengers Assemble. I think it's on its second season right now. So it made it past the first, the first season. And they got a little surprise. So if any of you guys watch the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, which I haven't done yet. I know September came out in August. I still haven't watched it. What kind of comic book fan am I who haven't seen one of the coolest Marvel Cosmic type platforms ever? Guardians of the Galaxy. And everyone's talking about how good it is. It's like number one selling movie of the summer. It beat out Captain America. It beat out like its own company's movie. That's... That's awesome. But yeah, Thanos is going to be in the Avengers Assemble. He's going to be in an episode of Avengers Assemble. They're going to do the Infinity Gauntlet. I may watch this show just to see that episode. Because <laughs> who doesn't want to see Thanos whoop up on on all the Avengers? Thor, Hulk. I don't know who's all a part of like the cast. I don't know if like they switch out characters here now with the uh, Avengers Assemble like they did with Earth Mightiest Heroes. But you figure what characters like Thanos they're gonna have every heavy hitter in that episode. If they're gonna tie in like maybe Fantastic Four, maybe some Spider Man also because the Spider Man show is still going. They got that that Drick Bell still doing the Spider Man as well. So I may have to watch this Avengers Assemble. I think it comes on on the weekends on Saturdays. I think it's prime time also around 8 30 yeah on the disney xd so i'm gonna find other ways to watch it because i don't have cable so that's gonna be kind of hard for me to watch if i don't have cable but yeah thanos fucking fucking thanos avengers assemble that's awesome that's freaking awesome other thing i want to talk about they have a 10 year later like what's been going on with the cast with loss like, it's been 10 years since Lost been on air. I think it aired September 2004. It was September 22nd, 2004. 
So it was like a couple of days ago, almost a week ago, that the show had aired. And they're talking about where are the cast now. A lot of people are doing different stuff. If you know much about Lost, you know like two of the main characters of Lost are now on Hawaii Five O. I think actually the guy that played Locke, he actually made a special guest appearance on Hawaii Five O. They also got a chick to play Boomer and Athena from Balsar Galacta, Galactica on Hawaii Five O as well. That's pretty awesome. A lot of other characters are doing different stuff. I know that uh, crap. What was his name? He had the son. It's been so long since I watched Laws. I try. I I stopped watching TV shows over and over again so I can forget the TV show. Then that way, when I go back and watch it. I can see like the, some of the stuff that I forgot and see new stuff at the same time because I hate watching a TV show. And I don't like using the word hate, but I hate watching a TV show and like knowing everything that happens unless it's Bob Burgers. Because every time I watch Bob Burgers, I see something new every single time. I, I, I watch Bob Burgers all the time, but Lost. There's a lot of other cast members doing a lot of different TV shows that are getting syndicated. So, so like these guys are getting double syndication. So their acting caliber is just it's good enough to, to keep people watching. They got a big enough fan base that fans want to watch the shows that they do and watch it continuously. I think that's awesome. I know that a lot of other guys are doing uh, mostly like paid cable TV shows. Besides like the two I mentioned before, I, I think it was. Uh, damn, I should have wrote these down. I forget the names of the characters. The character that played Hurley, the big guy. And uh, I think the Kim, the Kim family, one of the, uh, the male. Damn it. Damn it all. He was in a couple episodes of Angel also. The name's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't get it out. But he, they're both on Hawaii Five O. You also got like the kid that plays uh, Hero from uh, Heroes. He's also on Hawaii Five O. I keep talking about that show. I haven't watched that show since the first season, and I'll keep talking about it. I don't know why. But uh, Chief, Mc, Chief McBride is on there also. So since Chief McBride is on there, I'm going to start watching it, which is what they're trying to do. They're trying to get me to watch the show because Chief McBride is on there. I get that. I'm like, oh, let's put Chief McBride on Hawaii Five O. And People like that guy. Like Our, our numbers are slipping. Let's put, uh, put a name that some people may know. A lot of black people know and put them on the show so black people watch the show. You got me. You got me, CBS. I'm going to watch Hawaii 5 on them because Chief McBride is on it. Bastards. But yeah, just just so you guys know, 10 years since Lost has been on, it's still on Netflix, so you can watch it to your glory as much as you want. I think Matthew Foss is doing like random TV shows now and movies like cameos. Uh, Lily. Evidently, Lil, she's doing the Hobbit movie. We all know about that. Dominic Monaghan, what the hell is he doing now? I think he's just bouncing around from TV shows and movies also. Nothing really stable that he's doing. Nothing at all. That's all I can think of cast-wise. If I miss something, you guys let me know. Because I, I know I'm missing a lot of characters right now. Like the characters that play Saeed, I don't know what the hell he's doing. I know he did a couple episodes of Once Upon a Time. I think he did the Wonderland. Or maybe it was just once upon a time. He played Jafar. Yeah. Talk about typecasting. But yeah. He played Jafar and saw Once Upon a Time. I know he did that. That is all I can think of. I know one of the characters, like I said before, I think it's Michael. He's playing uh, an angel in Constantine. So he's doing that. I hope Constantine does well. I really do. Because I saw, like, the pilot episode. It's freaking beautiful. Because I had nothing but just negative things to say about that pilot. And it just looks freaking amazing. Like, they capture Constantine well besides, like, you know, him not smoking. Because I think in Constantine, the cigarette that he smokes is like Batman with Gotham. Like, Gotham is a character all of his own. So is that damn cigarette Constantine is always smoking. That's a character. Like, whenever you see Constantine, you think, like, oh, hey. Like, rain trench coat and cigarette with blonde hair. That's what you see when you see Constantine. That's how it is for me, anyway. You know, reading those old Vertigo books, that's what you think of when you see Constantine. You see that. That and Lucifer. A lot of Lucifer. The relationship those two had is just 
It's wacky doodle. Very wacky doodle. Um, what else I got? Oh yeah, they got the the big crossover this Sunday. Animation Domination is dead now because they've put in that Brooklyn Nine Nine on on the on the block. So I think it's gonna be what is it? I think it's Bob Burgers, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Uh, what else have we got? And American Dad, Family Guy, and The Simpsons. We have all those shows on the block now. So there's no more animation domination. It's more like a animation two-thirds. Because you got that little smidgen of realistic TV shows. Well, I use that word loosely because Brooklyn Nine-Nine is like the most flamboyant comedy I've seen in a long time. There's no... No, like, drama, la, 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 inside of that show, which I like. A comedy that's okay with being a comedy and not have to be serious, that doesn't have a studio audience. That's what I miss, comedy-wise, because that's what a comedy is. A comedy is a comedy. Comedy is not, like, inner monologue while you're a doctor talking to yourself the entire time, like, hey, I wonder what that person's doing. Hmm. And then flash cut to family guy jokes where you're pretending to do something just uh i know you guys know what show i'm talking about i'm not gonna say the name of the show because that would be an ass of me to say that but it's not that i didn't like that show it's just that no thank you after like three seasons of that show I'm like okay that's about enough of that and the the stupid drama all the time, it just, uh, no, just, just be a comedy. Make up your mind what you want to be. You want to be a comedy, you want to be a drama. You can't be a, a comedy. Comeda. I messed that one up. I should retake that. A, a, a dramedy. There we go. A dramedy. That sounds like a bad porn. But yeah, anyways, what I was talking about they got a big crossover coming out this this Sunday at Animation Domination. It's going to be the Simpsons and the Family Guy crossover. comes out this Sunday. So that'll be September 28th? I don't think that's the date. What's today's date? Today is 27th. So yes, it would be the 28th is when that comes on. <laughs> Talk about unprepared for today. My goodness, I am very unprepared. But lastly, I want to talk about, well, topic-wise, I'm pretty sure I have more to say after this topic, but Gotham, the Gotham TV show. I have not watched the Gotham TV show, but everyone is telling me how awesome it is. And apparently when I go into watching this TV show, I got to go into it with blinders on. I can't go into it thinking, hey, this is going to be Batman. This is going to be like, you know, the Batman mythos prequel wise because as we all know all of us who read batman comics there was crime in gotham but it was mafioso crime there was no there was no real villains no rogues out back then none of them really doing any kind of mayhem and mischief so they had to put something out there because it's a tv show you can't just have just maf mafiosos doing stuff in gotham that'd just be like a regular tv show it's called gotham for a reason so I kind of go in with blinders thinking to myself, like, okay, the origin is going to change. This is going to change. That is going to change. It, all this stuff has to change to suit the TV show. That may piss off a lot of people. It may piss off a fan who has four tattoos of Batman on his body also. Talking about this guy. So hopefully it doesn't make me angry. I like Donald Luge. I like uh, McKenzie. Well, I can't think of his first name. Ben McKenzie. I like him also. J.D. Pinkett Smith, she's a great actress as well. So I got a pretty good, pretty good, nice, pretty nice, decent cast inside of it. They got a couple of kids inside of it also. I'm not a real big fan of, not a real big fan of kid actors, but they have been surprising me the past couple of months now. Past year, like the kids from uh, Ender's Game. I really don't like kids that kid actors. That must that's probably just like a '90s thing because to me a lot of kid actors kind of sucked. It's stuff like Kirsten Dunst. She was one of like the few kid actors that were good, like in like the, the Maori sisters. 
comedy wise, they were they were decent. They were funny kids. Uh, the Family Matters, like they were, most of the kid cast were kind of funny on that show. Also, just drama wise, unless you're Macaulay Culkin or Elijah Wood, you were not a good kid actor. Or Kirsten Dunst, like I said before, just if you weren't those three main kid actors, Haley Joel Osment, also crap. Why do I hate kid actors? Is I'm like calling out like a lot of names. My goodness. That's like four names right there. Kid actors. Grew up the same time I grew up. Only one of them is still really doing, I guess two of them are still doing acting right now. Elijah Wood and Kirsten Dunst. I know Macaulay Culkin is doing like indie stuff while he's doing his drugs also. And Haley Joe Austin is doing more uh, voice acting and like behind the scenes and like spotted cameos like he did one for Always Sunny in Philadelphia where he played Mac. <laughs> <laughs> That was awesome. If you guys haven't seen that episode, you got to watch that. It's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. But yeah, Gotham. I got to watch Gotham. I know it came out Monday. I think it came, yeah, it came out Monday. So it's like going to come out every Monday, every week on Fox. That's kind of the other reason why I don't want to watch it either because it's on fucking Fox. Fox has canceled a lot of my absolute just loved shows. Almost Human. How the fuck do you cancel almost? That show was awesome. And they canceled it. They couldn't They couldn't sell it to NBC. Why couldn't you just sell Almost Human to NBC? They would have loved to have that show. That was such an NBC show, too, Almost Human. It seemed more like it should have been on NBC than, like, being on Fox. Because NBC would have took care of it. Or even CBS, for that matter. They would have took care of that show. They would have made at least, like, second two seasons of that show. Ugh. See, now I'm getting heated about Fox because I'm going to get some gripe for this. I never really watch Firefly TV show. I watched the first episode and I watched the last episode. I didn't watch it in between. I also watched the Serenity movie, which I loved. Really liked that Serenity movie. That was awesome. But I didn't too much care for Firefly. But the old TV show called John Doe, that was my jam. I loved that show. That show was awesome. And it just seems like every other show... Since then, has been canceled. Fastlane, screw you if you don't like Fastlane. Fastlane was awesome. Bill Bellamy, that, was, that show was awesome. Fastlane was, Fastlane was kick ass. I love that show. But it just Fox just canceled shows that are just they they make look so freaking awesome. Then it's like okay, we're not getting enough money on this. Let's cancel it. We're done with this. We're done with you. Time to go. So if I do watch Gotham, I do like it. It's gonna get canceled. I know it is. That's just what happens on Fox. It's, uh... And my whole point with the whole canceled TV shows is, look at Agents of the S.H.I.E.L.D. It has some numbers, but a lot of fans hated that show. They kept watching it only because the Phil Coulson character, and it had tie-ins to the movies. The only two reasons why people watch that show was because of that. That's it. And we know it. But it's still like ABC that said, okay... We're gonna get like a, like do better with our writing. We're gonna try to like do a couple like reshots with like the the couple of shows that are going. We know that like, the Captain America movie is coming out also, so let's try, let's try and tie in some stuff from Agents of the Shield into Captain America. And we got like you know the, the Avengers movie coming out. We're making more Thor movies. We're doing like the Guardians of the Galaxy. They're trying to tie in some more stuff to that. Maybe get some like the bit characters from those movies that make cameos into the TV show. And they did stuff like that. They can't do that with Gotham. They can't. They don't have that kind of like luxury to say, hey, let's grab some guys from our DC shows, put them into this show. Because it's Fox doing it. It's not on CW, which is probably what it should have been on, that and Constantine. I don't know why DC doesn't... I don't get why DC doesn't just put all these shows on the CW. I mean, they have four TV shows right now. They got Arrow. They got The Flash coming out. They got Constantine. They have Gotham. Why not just put all your shows on different days, mind you, and just put them all on the CW? That's why you get like a full lineup. No more this QC, cookie cutter, girly TV shows. And you got Supernatural. You're a big heavy hitter. You got Supernatural on there as well. There's there's an amalgam. No pun intended there, if you guys get that. There's an amalgam of characters inside the DC Universe. Like, pre-52 and new-52. 
You got the Vertigo, Vertigo characters also. You can make a new Wildcats TV show. You can make a Grifter. Just a show just about Grifter. And how he like hangs out with different superheroes all the time. You can make a Steve Trevor TV show. Because like his new character in New 52, he has his own Justice League. I mean, you can just like have him bring in different like superheroes. But you can make an Agents of Justice League TV show. That would be awesome. Agents of the Justice League. That'd be that'd be freaking awesome. Cause it's gonna be all about him trying to take down like the heavy hitters. And you can coincide that with the actual like Justice League movie, the Aquaman, Wonder Woman. You can have like the guy who plays C Trevor, whomever that would be, if they make a TV show like this, have him pop into the Wonder Woman movie and have that transfer back and forward with the TV show. You can copy what Marvel's doing. The fans would be pissed off at first, but they will honestly truly respect that if it's done right, which they have been doing with their TV shows. A lot of people don't have hope for these movies. They're excited for it, but they don't have any hope for these movies. Mainly because the Warner Brothers is still treating people like they're morons. By bringing Ben Affleck, a big name with no other names inside the Superman and Batman movie. People are trying to be okay with it because they just want to see Superman and Batman in a movie together. I understand that. My anger towards that is now gone. I actually been reconsidering watching the Batman Superman movie for that main fact that is Batman and Superman in a movie. This is what I wanted since I was like eight years old and I saw my first comic book. I would love to see Batman and Superman in a movie together, but I cannot respect Ben Affleck as Batman. It just... It's hard to do that because I actually... I don't just like Henry Cavill as Superman. I fucking love Henry Cavill as Superman. His body is like magnanimous when it comes to Superman's body. His uh, his physique, his qualities, the smile that he has as Superman. Just the dude seems like a farm boy, and he's British, and he pulls it off well. And like to hear some more dialogue from him as Clark slash Superman would be absolutely great to see. I'd be truly impressed and enthralled to see him be more like a Clark Kent, then see him transition into Superman, and see maybe him go into a Kal El type mindset. See him play like those three quad characters. Not quad, try. Try characters. It'd be awesome to see that. Ugh. But yeah, Gotham. Gotham Sun Fox. If you guys are watching it, let me know what you think about it. Um, I'm not saying be frost anymore. I'm done doing that. Uh, I like having closeout tags. Just like that's just it's just something I like doing. That's just that's just me. So I have a tattoo on my arm now that says "Let life come to you," and that's all I'm gonna start telling you guys is "Let life come to you." Until next time. <laughs>